Some of the officers on this Swedish fighter base at Uppsala already knew they were to be locked out of their jobs and ordered off the base unless the government changed its mind. While the latest negotiations were going on and the government were being persuaded to postpone the lockout, the pilots of these double delta Draken interceptors went on doing their job of defending the borders of this neutral country. The object of a costly and sophisticated defence system paid for by a population less than that of London is to keep Sweden out of war. They don't relax when the weather's rough either. It's minus 13 degrees centigrade on this apron here this morning. Now the Swedes haven't had a war for more than 150 years. The government said when it was arguing about the possibility of this lockout that if they did send home 3,000 of the forces 5,500 officers, the skies over the Baltic would still be secure, the borders would still be secure. The skeptics, particularly the communists, said that if this was the case, if you could send home 300 officers and the 30,000 conscripts that would have to be sent home too, why are they really necessary at all? Sweden is so preoccupied with defence that it seemed unbelievable that the government should do anything to endanger it. Officers in the Union have the right to strike, so it's logical that the government would have the right to lock them out if it saw fit. But it was seen here as a very bizarre decision, particularly as the officers themselves were not asking for more pay. The strikes halted all passenger traffic on the railways for a month and the long avenues of cold carriages still wait in the marshalling yards for the crews and the timetables to start. The trains were stopped by 600 officials. Like the other white-collar members of the two unions involved, they were demanding rises of 20%. The members of the unions involved make an average of £4,160 a year. Children are off school because the government did lock out a lot of the teachers. This week, on this fighter base, the Air Force is laying on lessons and demonstrations in the principles of air warfare for men from the Navy and the Army. Some governments try to cope with crippling strikes by calling in the forces. The Swedish government tried to force a settlement of this one by locking them out. But most people here in Sweden never really believed that it would happen. And now it's been abandoned for a few days, it probably won't. The government seems to have made a tactical withdrawal, if not a complete retreat. Leonard Parkin, News at 10, Uppsala Fighter Base, Sweden.